Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Chernobyl. Today I'll be watching season one, obviously, episode four. We're getting down to the wire. I feel like we will get more information on what Dyatlov did in order for it to explode, because we have the other two, Akimov, and uh, there's T's and P's in it, I think. There's an O, I think. To, I don't remember. Um... Yeah, they both said that the AZ5 button was pressed, and then it exploded, so... I don't know. I'm clearly not a nuclear physicist. I am simply a, you know, lowly civil engineer. I don't know anything about nuclear... nuclear reactions. Is there water? Someone going to the bathroom? Oh, milking a cow. Okay. It's time to go. It's not safe here. There's radiation in the air. What's wrong with you? You know how old I am. Very. I'm 82. I've lived here my whole life. What do I care about safe? Yeah. 82, I'd just be like, whatever, I'm good. I have a job. Don't cause trouble. Oh. You're not the first soldier to stand here with a gun. In the Great War. More soldiers, more famine, more bodies. I mean, being 82 in 1986 would have been a hell of a lot to see. After all that I have seen. Don't kill her. That is... Just let her stay, whatever. Like, seriously. It's time to go. Time to keep milking. Please, stand up now. Don't do it. Seriously? This is your last warning. The cow? It's time to go. Mm. Look how peaceful. August. August. Four months after the explosion. Oh, I was not expecting that time skip. Doesn't have any, like, markings or anything on her face. I don't know what's gonna happen with her. So clearly, the miners succeeded. I don't know if they're all dead or what. Oh, this is... This is a hot spot. That's a huge effort to try to, like, map out the hot spots, I guess. Or just how much they have to quarantine. Chernobyl Exclusion Zone. Okay. Oh, they're still there. Did they... Did they figure out what happened? I feel like four months should be enough time, right? Why is the core still exposed to the air? We can't get close enough. The oh. debris on the roof is graphite from the core itself. It'll kill anyone who gets near it. Like, how quickly? The small one, 1,000 Rodkin per hour. Presume two hours of exposure is fatal. Okay. Moon rovers. We couldn't put a man on the moon. At least we can keep a man off a roof. <laughs> Under no circumstances can men go up there. What about this large section here? That's the deadliest. 12,000 Rodkin. What? It's like, what, a few minutes? Two minutes, your life expectancy will be cut in half. By wow. three minutes, you're dead within months. That piece of roof is the most dangerous place on Earth. How the hell are you going to remove it? So? Volunteers? What do we do? That's what we wanted to ask you. I think it was in Japan when something happened. I don't remember what it was. All the elderly volunteered. Oh. They do look like they're going to work near Chernobyl. Okay, this dude's important, I guess. Oh, the shitter. Okay, I was not paying attention to that at all. I was looking at, like, 
the top part of the screen when like, well, like what are they doing and then the bottom part sort of made sense i need to pay attention more sometimes tense 181 bacho pavel pavel hey and bacho got it hopefully i remember what unit were you in in afghanistan i'm not in the military they're running out of men huh they used up all the military those guys they dig up the ground those guys they cut down trees okay what do you do what about them i don't know them them okay give me an egg basket he's with me you understand got it we make these from lead scrap put it on under your balls over your clothes Shit. i mean you're not giving information you ever go hunting? No. Today's your lucky day. Oh, are they getting rid of the animals? That ugly Armenian in the tent, Garo. We do animal control. Okay. But it's not hard. They're mostly pets. That's They're happy to way see harder. You. They run right up to you. You load the bodies on a truck. Oh. Dump them in a pit. No. As much vodka as you want. Plus a thousand rubles. I would not want to do animal control. No. No thank you. No. That looks completely uncomfortable. <laughs> Takes some getting used to. University Library Moscow. Okay. Oh. We learning. I like it when we follow her. We're gonna find something out. I don't know what she's looking for. Oh, researching and going to the library. The good old days. I need to see the following documents. They're listed as permission only. I'm working for the Central Committee. So she has uh, permission to take out anything? Comrade. This is so dense. She can have that one. What? Why not the other Thank one? Thank you, comrade. Oh. Yeah, thank you. I mean, at least she's got one. Oh, I hate. Them. Look at all these uh, vegetables. So they're they're in the process of uh, decontaminating everything, I guess. Um, I feel like there's a word. Quarantining everything, destroying everything. Oh, is that the graphite on the roof? Hopefully it works. Okay. Bring up the cameras. Let's do it, Rangers. Running on board diagnostics. There we go. To think that's what we put on the moon. I'm not that one. I know not that one. They can build two more. Marsha. But they may have found something. Oh. It's a German police robot, but West German. That wasn't an easy conversation to have. Oh, true. The wall is still up at this time. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. This one's gonna go terribly wrong, isn't it? I mean, they can't do the third one anyways. Molly, well, hey, what's that? It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> After four months? Oh, that is that douchebag. He doesn't seem worse. He doesn't seem bad at all. I see your condition has improved, Comrade Dyatlov. No, leave. No. I need your help. Yes. Topped and off, caught it out, Akimov pressed it. Was the only good decision they made, incompetent morons. What about you, hmm? Can you confirm that the reactor exploded? How do I even know it exploded, huh? What? What do you call that? I found this in the state archive. The names of the authors have been redacted. Of course. And two pages have been removed. Of course. Well, the state must protect its secrets, comrade. They made a mistake. Oh, I like this. What? They didn't redact the table of contents. <laughs> oh, now he's looking. They refer to a positive void coefficient and AZ5. You worked with this reactor. You know it better than I do. Oh, so everything's my fault, then. I'm not here to blame you. I'm here to find out what happened. I'm your best chance to avoid a bullet. 
Can you help me or not? You better freaking help, I hope. Void coefficients have nothing to do with AZ5. Are you think the right question will get you the truth? I feel like he's hiding something. Ask the bosses whatever you want, you'll get the lie. And I will get the bullet. I don't know what void coefficient is. Is it like in this specific situation, you cannot press AZ5 or else it will explode type thing? And that was that specific situation, but they didn't know, so they pressed it? Why would people know? Everything's redacted. They can't freaking look it up. Oh, no. No. I don't like this. I only have two rules. Okay. One. Don't shoot me. Don't point this gun at me. That's easy, right? Two. If you hit an animal and it doesn't die, keep shooting until it does. Or I'll kill you. I mean it. Okay. I would not be able to do that. Especially like you said, they just like run up to you and want pets and then you shoot them. Once we start, they'll run inside where they feel safe. So we go door to door. Okay? No. No! Stay distant! Oh, no, don't do it! Oh, no, stay, no. Don't. No! Hey! Do your job, door to door. I would... Um, not do my job, but then I'd probably get killed, so, um, yeah, I'd be dead. That's a horrible job to have. What happens if you see, like, a person door-to-door? -door? No, don't do it! No, it's just peaceful! It's old! Go, go, go away, go. Yeah, go away, doggo. No! Leave! Oh no! I don't like this! Freaking... Yeah, shoot him! Don't let him suffer! Don't... Don't let them suffer. Yeah. Sorry. What a friggin' horrible job. What a rough first day, too. Ugh. You gonna eat? No. I wouldn't. Drink. Again. <laughs> this happens to everyone the first time. Normally when you kill a man, but for you, a dog. My first time. Suddenly a man was there and I shot him in the stomach. That's it, Macho. You're not you anymore. But then you wake up the next morning and you're still you. That was you all along. That's an interesting realization. I'm happy every day. Back to work. I do wonder how many animals were put down, like domestic and wild. I think I remember seeing that there's mushrooms or like some kind of fungus growing in, um, in the area now. Or there's animals also that have adapted, I could be wrong. That's a lot of work, it's gonna take a long time. September, oh, well then. Have they figured out how they're gonna do the, the biggest roof, the most dangerous roof? It's there. Oh, oh, the German police thing, true. West Germany, cause it was a tough conversation, got it. Okay. It's ready. Let's see it in action. I hope it works. Imagine if you could like see the radiation. It's like a, a green hue or whatever color. Purple would also work. And the darker the purple, the more concentrated, like the higher the radiation. That would be pretty neat. Motors. So if this doesn't work, they've got nothing else, right? Forward one meter, reverse one meter. Reverse one. Oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Did the radiation destroy it already? Did you lose the signal? 
It's not the signal, it's the vehicle. It's dead. Well, it lasted a couple minutes, I guess. Of course I know they're listening! Oh, he's, he's, he's upset. Tell them! Everything's fine. Oh. <laughs> Everything is not fine. <laughs> they told the Germans that the highest detected level of radiation was 2,000 Rontgen. Oh my god, those freaking morons. They gave them the propaganda number. That robot was never going to work. No, 2,000? It was like at 12,000, wasn't it? Morons. Oh, absolutely garbage. New phone. garbage. <laughs> we do need a new phone. Why would you... Oh. This is so frustrating. 2,000. It's like saying, oh, it's only 3.6. It's just a little bit of radiation. It's still good. It's still good. What if we don't clear it? If we can't build a cover over it. If we can't cover it, there's 12,000 Rontgen. Maybe twice the radiation from the Hiroshima bomb. Can it just, like, make the roof collapse or no? What if we shoot the graphite in the hole? Exploding bullets at an exposed nuclear reactor. Let's go light that know. roof back on fire. It was so easy, <laughs> but not the first time. <laughs> yeah. We need another robot. One that can withstand the radiation. Does that exist? The Americans. Do you really think they'd give it to us? The Central Committee would never stick to us. There are no robots. So then... People? Bio-robots. Bio-robots. Okay. I was like, huh? They can only be there for like a couple minutes or else they're gonna... Three minutes, I think their lives are halved. Oh, I don't like this. Oh. A lot today. Yay. Where do they get their food? They eat the chickens. And they eat each other. I mean, it's been like, what, four or five months? Makes sense. Door to door. I thought they were done for the day. I guess not. I... I don't like this. I feel like there's something's gonna happen. Oh no. Oh no, you can't do that! I'm talking to you. Fuck. Yeah. Just go outside. Good thing he came to check on him. <sighs> yeah, I would want like any other job. I dig, I whatever, I'll cook, I'll I don't remember what the other jobs were. <laughs> and one of them was digging. Ah, <sighs> time to bury them. Dump them and Bury them with concrete. Ugh. Oh my god, there's so many of them. That's like one day. I guess the amount of people that had to work at like, not, not covering this up, but making it safer, containing it. There we go. And then they do the same thing tomorrow. Yay. October? Huh, a month later. You will each have no more than 90 seconds to solve this problem. Wait, wait, what? You will enter reactor building three. 90 seconds? This is the working area. Oh we gosh. must clear the graphite. There's a hole in the roof. Take care not to fall. You fall, you're dead, for sure. Do you understand your mission as I have described it? Oh, this is insane. These are the most important 90 seconds of your lives. So they just keep bringing people in for 90 seconds and then they're like shipped back out, I guess? Because you can't have more than that. There's always going to be a few people who stay longer than 90 seconds, for sure. After 90 seconds, I will ring a bell. When you hear it return immediately, do not look over the rail. Is that clear? Go. Oh, wow. Go! Just, just, you have 90 seconds, like, just take something and throw it, I guess. It's one piece at a time, I guess. Chuck it! Don't look, and just go. Oh. 
That is insane. Okay. That's probably like 90 seconds. Let's go back. This feels like forever. This is got. Okay, there we go. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're so dead. Oh, is he stuck? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my... That is way longer. That's two minutes. Your life is, like, halved. I don't remember what it was. Oh, no. No, no, no. Just decontamination. Time to go. Oh, I, I feel like that guy's definitely gonna die quickly. Oh, there she is. Oh, she did her water break? Or... Is it dying from the inside due to the radiation? This lady needs help. Oh, uh, I don't think, I don't think, I don't know if she'll survive. I feel like no. Dece December. Two months later. Oh, sorry for all this. Oh. We're going to put the Atloff on trial. Okay. We're going to be Good. asked to give expert testimony. What are they asking you to do? Why? Tell the world what happened. Oh, okay. Well, then you'd better know what happened. I've constructed a timeline. Oh, oh, good, 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 good. Second by second in some places. Are they guilty? Yes. Oh, oh. Of gross incompetence, violation of safety regulations. But the explosion? I'm not sure. Oh. What do you mean you're not sure? It doesn't have all the information, though, like access. I think this article may have the answer. But it's all redacted. But two pages have been removed. You've seen this before. Did he write it? Believe me when I tell you that I had no idea it could cause an explosion. None of us knew. What? An RBMK reactor at Leningrad. The operators pressed AZ-5, but instead of the power going down, it went up. Oh. This is what Volkov learned from Leningrad. The, what? Did he? The control rods know? have graphite tips. So the reactivity doesn't go down, it goes up dramatically. Why on earth would they press that button? They didn't know. Volkov warned the Kremlin ten years oh. ago. It's, there could be no doubt about the uh, supremacy of the Soviet nuclear industry. Oh my god, this is freaking ridiculous. The KGB classified it as a state secret. So no one else knew while operating it. Unless... The operators have pushed the reactor to the edge of disaster. So it is their fault. Yes. But they didn't know, right? But not only their fault. No. Oh. Is that what you're going to say in Vienna? You can't possibly be that naive. There are 16 RBMK reactors. We have to fix them. Yes. We can make a deal with the KGB. Deal with the KGB. It's not gonna... That's... And I'm naive. Do you know the name Vasily Ignatenko? I've been looking in on his widow. She gave birth. To what? A girl. The baby lived for four hours. Okay, yeah. They said the radiation would have killed the mother, but the baby absorbed it instead. Oh. Oh. Ooh, ouch. We live in a country where children have to die to save their mothers. Someone has to start telling the truth. Um, yes, definitely. That is a tough position to be in. Have to climb up there. Oh my god. You are the last of 3,828 men. I wish you good health and long life. Yeah, about that. Union. I, serve the Soviet Union. I think all the people higher up in charge should have done around too. That would have been ideal. Oh, look, all the animals are killed now. You get to go home. So, has she not been. I guess the, yeah, the kid absorbed all the radiation then, huh? Where is she? She lost everything. Oh man. Wow. That's this is a oh, this is all a punch in the face. So I guess they were stress testing it and it's, it's just really, really bad bad luck, bad timing for everything it seems. Legasov, I guess, knew about it, but didn't think it was it would work. It would um, cause an explosion. That is so frustrating. Like the 
the whole thing about keeping state secrets or keeping secrets because no one else should know about it. And then it turns out, oh, this was a terrible idea because I'm assuming had people known about it, things probably could have worked out way better. I'm assuming Dyadlov didn't know. If he did know, then that's also horrible. But if he didn't know, you wouldn't, I mean, you wouldn't know to not press AZ5, right? So, oh. This is extremely frustrating. Extremely frustrating. Everything that needs to be kept secret, no one else can know. You know, we can't look weak. It's, I absolutely hate that mentality. Hmm. And this happened in 1986, so just a little under 40 years ago. 37 years ago? What year is it? Yeah. <laughs> 37 years ago. I mean, I'd like to think that he goes public. I mean... He goes public, everyone knows the truth, but then he ends up taking his life because KGB keeps following him, I guess. He doesn't feel safe. It's just, like, not worth it. I don't know. I don't really know, but next episode we'll have the, the epic conclusion of this series. I'm looking forward to it. I've liked it. It's been very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. And as usual, the people higher up in charge they should have a turn at it, right? Like that's that's one thing I hate is people in charge are like, hey, we'll get all everyone else to do it, but we'll stay, you know, safer, which I really do not agree with. I don't. I really don't. That's why whenever there's people in charge who also go to the front lines, I feel like my respect or just in my eyes, they seem like way better people than the others that are like, no, no, I'm just gonna order others to do it and not really deal with it ugh. ugh and i guess it feels like um ugh, i don't remember her name the widow damn it um her giving birth i didn't think she would give birth but i guess she did and the child lived for four hours which is horrible it was probably a four hours of agonizing pain sort of what i'm assuming but i thought that the the fetus wouldn't grow properly because of the radiation but I guess it, it did. It did develop and then the child was born. So that's very interesting. I did assume wrong, obviously, because I know nothing about radiation. Tune in next time for the last, the series finale of Chernobyl.